it, don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you like it, and share it to friends if you might need it. This video was requested by someone down in the comments, so if you have a song you'd like me to do, leave it down in the comments and I'll check it out. For the song, your guitar is going to be in standard tuning and you don't need a capo. Also, for most of the song, you're going to pretty much be in the same chord progression. The only difference is it's going to be in the pre chorus. So, for the intro, you're going to start with the A flat major 7. So that's going to be 6th string, 4th fret, 4th string, 5th fret, 3rd string, 5th fret, 7th string, 5th fret. Strum down. Then you do a hammer on from the 3rd string, 4th fret to 3rd string, 5th fret. And then you play 3rd string, 6th fret, and then 7th string, 4th fret. And then that leads you to an A flat. So to play an A flat, it's going to be 6th string, 4th fret, 5th string, 6th fret, 4th string, 6th fret, 3rd string, 5th fret, 7th string, 4th fret, and 1st string, 4th fret. Strong. They repeat the same lick. So, hammer on from third string, fourth fret, to third string, fifth fret. Then third string, sixth fret, second string, fourth fret. And then you're gonna play a B flat minor seven. To play a B flat minor seven, it's gonna be sixth string, sixth fret, fifth string, eighth fret, fourth string, sixth fret, third string, sixth fret, second string, sixth fret, first string, sixth fret. Strum down. Or you can pluck the six string, third string, and seven string together. Then do a hammer up from first string, six fret to first string, eight fret. Then press first string, six fret. And then play second string, ninth fret. And then you're gonna play a uh, E minor seven. So that's gonna be six string, fifth fret, four string, fifth fret, third string, fifth fret, seven string, fifth fret. Play the six, fourth. Plus the third and section together. So this other intro sounds like. And then go on to the verse. So for the verse, the chord progression is going to be the same. So we start out with the A flat major seven, play the six, fourth, and then third and section together. And then you go to an A flat, play the same plucking pattern. So six, fourth, third, and second string together. Then go to a B, B flat minor seven, play the same plucking pattern. Then go to an A minor seven. And then repeat the whole chord progression one more time. But for the second time around, the plucking pattern is going to be different. So go to an A flat major seven, pluck the six, third, and seven string together. Pluck one more time, and then you go to an A flat major seven. Pluck it two times. Go to a B flat minor seven. Pluck it. Pluck the same strings two times. Go to a D minor seven. Pluck the same strings two times. And then go on to the pre-chorus. The pre-chorus. You're gonna start with the E major seven. So that's gonna be fifth string, seventh fret, fourth string, ninth fret, third string, eighth fret, second string, ninth fret, first string, seventh fret. Pluck the fifth, third, and second string together. And then you're gonna play the exact same thing, but you're gonna move your finger from fifth string, seventh fret to fifth string, sixth fret. Then you're gonna play D sharp, seven. The play that's gonna be fifth string, sixth fret, fourth string, eighth fret, third string, sixth fret, second string, eighth fret, first string, sixth fret. And then you're gonna pluck the same three strings once. Move your finger from second string, eighth fret, second string, ninth fret. And then go back to second string, eighth fret. And then you're gonna play a D minor seven. To play a D minor seven, it's gonna be fifth string, fifth fret, fourth string, seventh fret, third string, fifth fret, seventh string, sixth fret, first string, fifth fret. Pluck the fifth and seventh string together. And then you go to a D flat major seven. So that's going to be sixth string, ninth fret, fourth string, tenth fret, third string, tenth fret, second string, ninth fret. Put a sixth string, then fourth string, then put a third and second string together. And then you're going to play a D flat minor seven. So that's going to be sixth string, ninth fret, fourth string, ninth fret, third string, ninth fret, second string, ninth fret. Dot the six, third and seventh string together. So this is how the pre chorus sounds like. Then you go to the chorus. So 
for the chorus, the chord progression is going to be the same thing you did in the verse. The only difference is that you're going to be strumming this time instead of plucking. So strum pattern is just going to be down, down for each chord. So A flat, B flat minor 7, A minor 7. And then repeat the whole thing all over again one more time. And after you repeat it for a second time around, you go on to the next verse. The next verse is going to be played the exact same way as you played the first verse, but the only difference is that instead of plucking, you're going to be strumming. And the strumming pattern is going to be the same strumming pattern that you played in the chorus. And then you repeat the whole chord progression twice, as always. And then you go on to the pre chorus. And the pre chorus is going to be played the exact same way for the previous pre chorus. And then you go into the chorus. So the chorus is going to be played the exact same way for the previous chorus. And then go on to the instrumental break. And the instrumental break is going to be played pretty much the same way you played the previous chorus. And then go into the last chorus of the song. And for the last chorus of the song, you're going to pretty much repeat the same way you played the previous choruses. And then go on to like the outro. And the outro is pretty much you playing the exact same thing you just played in that last chorus. And then that's pretty much how the song ends. This is how the whole song sounds like all together. to leave a like subscribe to see more videos like this share to a friend if you might need it leave a comment down below on what show you would like to see next and i'll see you next time